Hi guys. It's 30 degrees today. My feet are cold. I even got the good boots on. Um, my chili was a flop. I'll explain that in another video. <clears throat> I really just wanted to be outside. But I got cornbread going. And it is almost done. I was going to talk about animals today. <clears throat> the crows found my camp. I didn't leave any food out. Oh, yeah, I did. I left a partial can of beans out here. My bad. But I could tell because my picnic basket had been kind of picked up. And I knew Romeo wouldn't do that. And I don't mind the crows, actually. It was like music to my ear to hear them today. I knew something besides the cat had been in here. But I knew it couldn't be a raccoon or anything. He probably stole some cool stuff, but... <clears throat> Um, we used to have crows where we worked, and uh, they were so smart, they knew exactly what time my breaks and my lunch were. I always fed them, me and the old guy we worked with, Danny. So they knew to come to us, and like I said, that right on time for a couple of years, these crows would come and hang out, get their snacks at my lunch and my break. I think it's kind of cool that you're here. I love hearing them. It lets me know I'm in the country. Um, the other animals. Peppercorn's going to be made into a fur hat. I was telling one of my daughters that today. JT and I always joke that he's only... Uh, he's only enough to make one boot liner. <laughs> <coughs> But that's what I got my rabbits for, eating and learning to tan their hides. I just don't have it in me to get them or kill them. All my animals are nasty. I love my chickens. I love my ducks. I love my rabbits. But like, it took me a couple of years of having rabbits to figure out why they have to have a water bottle. Because no matter how clean or big of a dish you give them, They'll find a way to shit in it. It just blows my mind. Like, the dish can be slightly taller than the rabbit, and he'll still find a way to crack in it. The ducks, they'll just destroy their water within minutes. They're all cool to watch. I don't like to eat duck, but I'll eat it if I'm starving. I use their eggs. I sell the babies. Sun's trying to go down. I'm waiting on my cornbread. The three tools I can't do this without is this little guy. <clears throat> this little guy. And yeah, that's little. It's a little baby twenty dollar one from Walmart. I feel like I'm going to break it every time I use it. <clears throat> and a good knife. It's kind of just a cheapie. I always wrap my handles with electrical tape, duct tape, or twine. Because those are all things you need in survival. <clears throat> Got cornbread. try that. Needs another minute or two, but I'm hungry. I brought some freaking ghee. I don't even use butter anymore. It always burns in the skillet. He never does that. Oh, this is tough. Um, before I left Washington, I was getting about $800 a week in unemployment, and I used almost all of it for prepping survival stuff.
And I didn't hoard buy, panic buy. Every week, faithfully, I would go buy three or four of whatever I use. In this case, it happened to be better. Every week, for a couple months. So when I got here, <clears throat> I went to see how much better I needed to turn into ghee, and I had 27 pounds of butter. I'm not kidding. All in my freezer. It's all been turned into ghee. Now it's good for like a year. Even if power goes out. That's why I do it. And because it doesn't stick in the skillet. I'm so cold, guys. I've been out here for a couple hours. I made two videos and they just erased ourselves. Mmm. So I'm going to go, that's our little chat. I don't have much storage space, but have a great day, guys.